Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our series in which what we do, we daily discuss some questions relating to your prelims and the name of this series is let's solve some questions for prelims 2020 so as is clear from its name this series is about uh, not just solving the questions but it is also about your participation in the discussion so uh, we do expect that you people will uh, comment in the comment box for um, or any suggestions or any feedback from your side or any additional information if you have and if you if you think that it would be helpful for us also so uh, let's start a discussion so today we will be discussing questions from the topic of ancient India so uh, the first question is UNESCO's memory of world resistor lists documentary heritage of world significance it includes which of these from India first Rig Veda second Mundaka Upanishad third Saiva manu manuscript so we have to choose the correct answer so let me tell you friends that the answer is C that is Rig Veda and uh, Saiva manuscript uh, so basically uh, solution is C. So the Institute of Asian Studies uh, Tamil Medical Manuscript Collection was first to be in included. So then Saiva Manuscript in Poducherry in 2005 and then Rigveda in 2007 was included. So uh, Seva Siddhanta considered normative Tantric Shaivism uh, provides the normative rights, cosmology and theological categories of Tantric Shaivism. So to date 238 documentary heritages have been incl uh, included in this register among them recordings of folk music, ancient languages and phonetics and then aged remnants of religious and secular manuscripts and collective lifetime works of renowned gangs of literature, science and music in copies of landmark, motion of pictures and short films and accounts documenting change, changes in the world economic, uh, world's political, economic and social stage. So now let's move to the next question. Uh, uh, second question is Maha Maha Mastab, Mastaka Abhisheka, a festival held once every 12 years is related to. A. Jainism B. Buddhism C. Alvars D. Nyanars So we have to choose the correct answer So let me tell you friends that the answer is A. Jainism So Maha Mastaka Abhisheka is a festival So it is, it is basically uh, held in the uh, uh, town of Shravana Bela Gola in Karnataka So this is the festival is uh, basically in veneration of 57 feet high statue of uh, Siddha Bahubali. So he was the son of uh, Rishabh Natha, the first Tarantakar of Jainism. So Anantik last took place in 2006 and the next ceremony is going to take place in, uh, sorry there is a mistake in typing. Uh, so uh, last year uh, uh, this uh, took place uh, in, uh, in 2018. So Jain rituals play a prominent role in Jainism. Worship like Hin Hinduism plays an important role in Jainism too. So Adhara Abhisheka temple purification ceremony is another important event. So now let's move to the next question. Next is uh, uh, in the Nagra, that is North Indian temple style. Uh, we have to choose the correct answer. First, the elaborate boundary walls or gateways are usually not constructed. Second, the Garb Giraha is always located directly under the tallest tower. So we have to choose the correct answer. So friends, uh, here the uh, answer uh, uh, is C, that is both 1 and 2. So elaborate boundary walls are not present in, um, uh, in around, the, around the temple. That is basically a uh, uh, temple. Uh, uh, the, the, the elaborate uh, uh, surroundings are basically in Dravda style. That is prevalent in South India. So second, that is uh, second is that Garb Graha is always located directly under the tallest tower. So that is also true. So both one and two. Are correct so in north india it is common for an entire temple to be built on a stone platform so basically a raised platform is used to build uh, the temple and uh, the entire temple is the, built on that stone platform with steps leading up to it so further unlike in south india it does not usually have elaborate boundary walls or gateways so while the earliest temples had just one tower or shikara later temples had several so garb giraha is always located directly under the tallest tower so there are many subdivisions of Nagar temples depending on the shape of the shikara so there are further subdivisions in it also so 
uh but uh, uh, you must must know this uh, that uh, that uh, the uh, the practice of shikara and uh, uh, this practice of shikara earlier there was only one one that one shikara but slowly uh, the, uh, uh, the the number of those uh, started increasing as the resources uh, of the kings king uh, kings who who uh, uh, kind of we can say constructed them the resources increased so obviously they uh, they in increase and also as as uh, the expertise grew uh, so this due to this uh, this thing had uh, started taking place and now as your next question uh, next question is consider the following uh, about the barut stoop so barut stoop uh, we have shown you in the diagram so you can observe it uh, first the sh uh, shungas improvised the artwork at barut second jatka tales have been depicted on its railings third queen maya queen maya's d uh, d dream has been depicted at barut so Barut Spooch, uh, uh, not as to Spooch, but it is Soup. Uh, so uh, all are correct friends. Uh, the answer is uh, D, that is 1, 2 and 3. So uh, let's see some explanation about it. So uh, justification is that uh, statement 1 is correct. This Barut Stoop is in Madhya Pradesh and it, it, it may have been built by the Maurya King Ashoka in 3rd century BC. But many works of art apparently added during the uh, Shunga period with, uh, with many friezes from the 2nd century BC. BC. and then also it contains numerous birth stories of both buddha's previous life or jatka tales like there are in uh, ajanta caves also jatka tales are there so in this uh, barut uh, uh, soup also jatka tales are depicted uh, so many of them are in the shape of large uh, round medallions so then kyun maya's dream also uh, uh, that uh, was also uh, is, is also depicted so kyun maya's dream is dream is basically preceding the birth of the buddha is also a major theme on the railing of Barut Stoop. So this is your uh, uh, fourth question. So now let's move to the fifth question. The uh, fifth question is Dhamma Chakka Pavatana Sutta is. So uh, a, a set of secular codes for Buddhist monks be considered to be a record of the first teaching given by Gautam Buddha after he attained enlightenment. See the compilation of philosophical work on Buddhist teachings by religious scholars. D the last te te teaching given by the Buddha before his Mahaparinirvana. So friends, the answer is uh, B. So this is quite uh, easy. So uh, when when he uh, first gave his sermon uh, at um, in Sarnath so that even was uh, referred to uh, is referred to as Dham Dharma Chakra Parvartan or Dhamma Chakra Parvartana. So uh, B is correct. So Explanation is that setting in motion of the Dharm Chakra, Dharm Chakra Sutra or promulgation of Law Sutra is a Buddhist text. Text that is considered to be record of the first teaching given by the Gautam Buddha after he attained enlightenment. So according to the tradition, Buddha gave this teaching in Sarnath, India to the five ascetics, his former companions with whom he had spent six years practicing austerities. So the main topic of this sutra is the four noble truths, which are central teachings of uh, Buddhism and uh, that provide a unifying theme or conceptual framework for all Buddhist thought. So this sutra also introduces the Buddhist concepts of the middle way, empire permanence and dependent organization so friends these are the five questions of today so those students who have scored five out of five i, I will say uh, they are performing good but those who have scored zero one two three four i would say that they are performing very well why i would say this because the purpose please note that the purpose of this video is to make you aware of more and more concepts to make you aware about the trend uh, the UPSC follows to make you aware the, uh, of the of the perspective that that you must have while reading so don't take this as a test because uh, uh, you are in if you are in your improving stage then uh, if you stop seeing these videos just because you get less marks then certainly six months down the line when your problems will be near then uh, you will be suffering from uh, the, the problem because others would have seen these videos and uh, you people will have ignored it so don't do this uh, just count them as a source of knowledge so that you can refine your knowledge more in a more uh, uh, we can say 
uh, smart way and also you can recall facts and also you can uh, you can learn new facts and concepts as well so friends uh, uh, also apart from uh, this uh, this uh, five these five questions well, you might be aware that we have various series uh, uh, that we have on running on our platform for example we have brief history of modern india series in which we cover your uh, uh, entire uh, uh, job, uh, that uh, that uh, the, the entire indian indian modern indian history uh, in 45 days so then we have geography ncrt series so then we have uh, polity and uh, polity series by m lakshmi kant and then we have indian economy by ramesh singh so all these series we have in place for the purpose of your preparation so how these operate basically you are daily given a target to read so based upon that target you have to cover uh, that th topic that is given to you and then in the evening you get 10 mcqs from the given target and uh, in this way you uh, give a regular test so how it benefits you so these books are foundations of your preparation so each and every topic from these books will be covered and also this will ensure coverage of your entire syllabus through mcq mode so also it will ensure discipline in your studies you will have daily target you which uh, which you will have to prepare so that you can solve the mcqs in the evening because most of the students today prepare from home and they are not in metropolitan cities uh, so uh, uh, they they can they mostly face the problem of time bound preparation or frame, uh, proper framework in which they can prepare time framework so this problem uh, is solved by us um, by by giving you targets uh, which you have to complete so that you can attempt the questions in the evening and also problem of revising multiple sources at the last minute will also be solved because you will have a compilation of all the mcqs that will be asked by us and you will get the final compilation of it and will help you in covering uh, or revise, revising multiple sources and multiple concepts and facts in a single pdf because uh, uh, this is most uh, most necessary at the time of uh, at the last minute when when your exam is just um, uh, near you and you can't read bulky books so also then uh, these books which are we are covering through these series they are widely recommended by various topers and uh, uh, obviously then uh, you might be aware of the fact that mere reading is not enough you must also know that how the upsc frames question because many people do reading uh, for the sake of their uh, 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 we can say uh, their their habit so uh, they have a, uh, they have a habit of reading and then uh, uh, also a discipline preparation gives you much needed self confidence and now is the best time to start and to cover all the topics and the prelims is now uh, only 6 months away so uh, uh, i don't know what you are waiting for if in case you are waiting uh, so uh, if you are interested in these series then you can check the description uh, box because the link is there in the description box and um, one more thing about our series is that uh, apart from it that we have a telegram channel also the link of which is shown on your screen so this is the link so this link will also be there down in the description box so you can check the description box so here we have more than 15,000 students that follow us and they have access to various public resources that we uh, that we share with uh, share with them for the purpose of csc preparation so if in case you are, you want to access you want to get access to those public resources you can check the description box and can join our telegram channel and also uh, uh, the uh, the pdfs of these discussions these questions are also shared there in the channel itself of our telegram so do ensure that you check the description box and join our telegram channel so uh, i hope you might have liked this video so if you do liked it then do ensure that you uh, don't forget to hit a like and also if you have any doubts queries you can ask in the comment box and also do ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends i hope you have a good day thank you